What's up, fellow c Wait, are we even allowed to say that? <laughs> <laughs> this is See You Next Thursday. Spinning in circles. That's so cliche. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome back. Welcome back to See You Next Thursday. Happy Thursday. Clink, clink. Cheers. We are drinking vodka tonics today. Um, okay, let's get into first, it. First off, congratulations to Al Pacino. Who, Al Pacino did it. Who at 89 fathered a, uh, a child. He's, he's pregnant. He fathered, yeah. His 29 year old wife is pregnant. Meanwhile, women are like, my biological clock. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like at 30. <laughs> These boys can swim still at, at uh. It's not fair. Or, you know what? Let me double check. He might be 92. Why am I? All right. I thought you said 81. No, he's older than 81. Al Pacino. Uh, Pacino eight months. She's eight months pregnant, so they're like, she's, they, yeah, they're far been... along. Oh, he's 83. All right. Not as okay. impressive, but still not cool. As cra- Maybe not congrats to Al Pacino. Al Pacino. Al Pacino, no. Yeah, Al we're going to, we take back our congratulations. Who's Al Patron? Al Patron? Is that the, um. I think. Is that the mobster? Yeah, no. I think that the... No, no. Who's the mobster? It was, um... Um... <sighs> Patro- Pat- oh, from Providence? No. Oh. He was a New York mobster. Well, then who is Zach, that from Providence? Zach, do you know who uh, the mobster we're talking about is? Zach Cohen. <sighs> Hold on. Let me look it up. Let me look it up. We're doing a lot of, gur- we're doing a lot of gurgle searches today. You're just a gurgle. I know. <laughs> We're hearing a lot of gurgle searches. You heard the Mergle fur. Mm. All right, let's see. Let's see. <sighs> it's no Al Capone. Oh, Al Capone. Okay. That's your thing. Al Patron. Al Capone. Al Capone. But similar. also, but also, I don't know if that's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out. But anyway, his Al Pacino. His boys can swim. Do they know what what it like? boy or girl i haven't read up that much i just saw like the headline and i was like wow that's that's worth talking it's worth about mentioning it's just nuts like think about this woman do you think wait do you think that she actually loves him no <laughs> i think that she thinks that she does look at anna nicole smith do you think she really loved that old no but he mm. loved her he I did. don't think that he cared if he if she loved her. No, he got to have sex with Anna Nicole Smith. Yeah, he didn't care. Also, did you like, I think did you was... watch the doc? You didn't watch the documentary with me, did you? I watched the entire thing. Yeah. 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 I apparently a lot of it was like false. Really? Yeah. Like apparently, I just felt like I like expected a new like look on her, and they just kind of like went with the same the same narrative. The same narrative, and yeah. it's a narrative that. <laughs> in the she's Kardashians, just, she's, she's spreading this narrative, narrative that's narrativing, and it's just and it's not a narrative that I would narrate. You're spreading a narrative, a web of narratives. <laughs> oh God, yeah, I I was expecting more from the documentary, and I think that it says a lot that her baby daddy and her daughter like weren't part of it because they right. knew that they yeah, were it was like kind of unauthorized. Yeah, yeah, but you know, Anna Nicole Smith, beautiful, beautiful woman. She will be missed. <laughs> she, will. <laughs> she, she, she will be missed. I really do love Annie Nicole Smith. She's just making me laugh right now. <laughs> it's just such a like, Scout just twirled her drink a little bit. <laughs> she will be missed. <laughs> um, we've, yeah. got the, we've, we've got the giggles up in here. <laughs> uh, whatever, you don't know what's doing. Cheers. <laughs> oh my god. We went to Boston Calling this weekend. Yes, we did. Shout out Wayne Coyne for the hookup. Thank, Thank you for you. the text, Wayne. The flaming lips. Oh, my God. All right. So we, my mom and dad were there with us, and we all took edibles. Mm. And It was magical. It was in, like, seeing the flaming lips at Boston Calling while stoned was, like, it was amazing. It was incredible. Their the confetti show, flying. For like that the, don't know, the Flaming Lips are such a trippy experience. They put, like, like Wayne puts so much into the shows. It's so cool. Like, they have giant inflatable robots in the stage. Confetti. And there's confetti every song. There's, like, giant balloons. Like, it's yeah. it's so much fun. It's so fun. 
And so it's so fun. It's so fun. And so to see that it was my birthday that we went. It was her birthday. Them. So it was just special and it was such a beautiful day. And we were It was like the perfect summer day. We were stoned. Was just, yeah. And then we ran into our home girl. I don't know if I should mention her name. We're not gonna mention her name. But probably, she's our but favorite waitress at mm-hmm. our favorite local She was on shrooms and she was killing it. She, she was, we walked like <laughs> I was like I'm not gonna say her name. <laughs> and uh my dad was like and he's like, all right, you're on something. He's like, are you drunk? And she, and she was like, I'm not going to lie. I just, we just took shrooms. Like, and she had doughboy <laughs> powder all over her face. And I was like, I love you. I'm like, we're stoned. But that was a lot of fun. Then um, I got a little impulsive. We were watching the Lumineers. They were the last act. Oh and God. we were so far away for them. Scout. It was like we were watching them on a TV screen. And I was like, I'm out of here. Scout, I like look up and she's gone. And I was just like, where'd she go? I warned you though. I said if we don't get an Uber now, we're not gonna get one. So I walk out, and this this large policeman comes up to me, and he's like, "That's an interesting outfit." I was like, "Thank you." I was like, "I lost my family, and I have no cell reception." He was like, "Whew, gotta love family." I was like, "You've been very helpful. Thank you, sir." <laughs> <laughs> You're like, hey, "I like you. Thank you." But then I get into an Uber. It's a Tesla. Shout by out the way. to Steven. That the was Uber one of driver. my first times in a Tesla. I think, other than like when we go to California, cause and and Steven didn't know how to get out of the parking lot, which actually worked out because then my mom called me and she's like, "Where are you?" And I was like, "People were waiting hours to get Ubers," and he's like, "No, no one's gonna be coming this way because it's a like zoo and blah blah blah." And I was like, "Mom called and she's like, we're coming." I was like, "Run." And so they, <laughs> they, 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 yeah, um, they ran. And we they made ran. It. We ran. We all and I was salty. I was like, "You bitches owe me big time." I think that it was fun. Like, okay, you can have fun sober. Don't get me wrong, mm-hmm. but it was fun because, like, for majority of it, like, I got there. I was pretty much running on an empty stomach. Got mm-hmm. <laughs> the line for alcohol was so long that I said to my mom, "I think that I'm gonna get two, just so that like I don't have to come back." So I was double fisting, and that first sip. You know, like that warm, that warm feeling. You're like, ooh, mm. I'm going to be drunk. And it was just amazing. And then, like, we went on the Ferris wheel. I love wheel. the next day mom goes, I think I got a little bit of a hangover from those edibles. And she's like, or maybe it was the IPAs. I kept drinking. I'm like, yeah, mom, I think it was like. We all had the had, IPAs. Had so it was like the strongest <laughs> bang for your buck. Very hoppy. But me and Scout rode the Ferris wheel. Boston Calling is it's a fun time. I think that it's easily the Coachella of the East Coast. Yeah. I do. I will say I like Folk Fest a little bit better. Like Folk yeah. Fest is more about the music. Like it's more like. like Folk Boston Fest Calling, is more I think show. is more yeah. like. Like there's more vendors and like you're kind of like the sound quality isn't as good. But like it's more just like the vibe. Mm-hmm. Um, but like Folk Fest, you're there like you you're going to see a good show. Yeah, Folk Fest is also a different demographic. I feel like it's like a lot of just families. Like you'll see moms pushing their kids in carriages. There were a bunch of kids at Boston Calling though. There were, yeah. But I feel like Boston Calling is more like you go there to take shrooms and kind of like chill out. Whereas Folk Fest is take shrooms and listen to the music. (laughs) Yeah. But it was was so fun. We spent that night in Boston. Spent the night at the Aloft. The Aloft Hotel. And then we, the next day, we went to Lawn on D. Mm-hmm. And Scout, do you want to tell them what you did? Um, I don't have much impulse control, and I saw she, a baby. She has none, I'd argue. I saw a baby bunny. No, I literally have none because of my brain tumor. It left me without the I forget the thing. I think I don't know if it's oxytocin or something that controls me. I don't have it. I don't have impulse control. So, want to tell them what you did with Moving your on, zero? Um, with that in mind, I saw a baby bunny, and he was just chilling there. And I uh, first I pet him, and when I saw that he was rather okay with that, I picked him up. But <laughs> he did run first. <laughs> he did. He 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 hopped away a little bit, and then I was like, "Here, Tess, let's like take him home." Scout literally like went into sprint mode. I was like, "It all happened so fast," and then she comes over, and the bunny is in her arms. No, literally, I like that's. <laughs> It's like the work of a toddler. Like, yeah. I don't know. I, I, he was like, so cute, and though. Like, I want she, a little bunny. She, like, gave him to me, and, like, I was holding him, and his little ears were perched up, and he was so cute. I want a bunny. I want a bunny. I want a bunny. I loved it. It was so cute. We I, should get a bunny. We should get I had a dream about a bunny last night. I had weird dreams last night. 
I had a dream that my best friend was in love with me and it was very weird. It was very weird. She was trying to like convince me that I was in love with her too. And I was She's like, you. yeah. And she was like, no, this needs to happen. And it made me so uncomfortable. And she texted me when I woke up and I was like, ah! <laughs> like I can't see you for a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, and then was like there was the another dream? dream and like we got a bunny. Oh, we should, what, <laughs> with my with my new should, gay lifestyle, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> we should get a bunny. Remember those Angora bunnies at that pet store in Cranston? Yeah, we would oh just go God. and like look at them. Yeah, and like we'd always be like, we're thinking about getting one. Can we hold them? We'd like send Mama a video, and she's like, don't even think about it. Yeah, we brought home chickens, and like that worked out. Guinea pig, I would do a guinea pig again. Guinea pigs are so cute, but bunnies are so cute. Too. I'm allergic to guinea pigs. I'm allergic to any fur, yeah. which is such bullshit. We've had hamsters, guinea pigs, cats, dogs since we grew up, horseback riding. I'm allergic to all of them. Go figure. <laughs> Go figure. Life is crazy. 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 The world is flat like a son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but then but then after Boston Calling, spent the night, came home, and that's when the real oh, part is. So we... um. There's this incredible bakery baked by Melissa, and they were originally only New York. And so that's the only time I could get them. They make gluten free cupcakes, and they're mini cupcakes. They're about the size of like a chocolate truffle. And you get, um, it's a box of like <laughs> 54. Truffle. You, get to get, you get a box of 54, and like you just, you these little cupcakes, you pop them in your mouth. Like they have filling. They're incredible. And they're, they're gluten free. Really and they're gluten free. So they she vegan. opened one like five minutes from our hotel but we were about to go to boston calling so i'm like all right i'm gonna uber eat some i paid 74 dollars for the delivery of these cupcakes total you know because they were like 54 to begin with anyway um it says you know unable to do delivery whatever so i'm like all right well i gotta order again so i got i think i only got charged for one though but anyway we got two giant boxes and we just when we came home from boston calling that's part of why i wanted to leave <laughs> That's part of why, like, during the Lumineers, I'm like, I want to get home and eat my cupcakes. <laughs> Scout's ulterior motives are always food. <laughs> uh, yeah, they were so fucking good. Did you, did you eat them all? Yeah. yeah. Mom was giving them away at your party. Like, <gasps> I'm like, nobody touch my $74 cupcakes. Damn. And mom's like, here, try one. I'm like. Damn. Your party was a lot of fun. Yeah, so we, that Sunday, damn, I feel like I'm still recovering, honestly. I just got, I didn't drink that much. R- Rachel, my best friend Rachel's boyfriend, was on bartender duty because he's an ex-frat boy. Um, <laughs> Shout all, out Griffin. We all wound up roofied. Just no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Right, as I say, shout out Griffin. <laughs> that, was a dark, that was a dark joke. Um, no, no, he did not do that griffin's a great guy oh my god wait in in relation to that we were at this movie premiere the other day and i asked this guy uh who scout works with to hold my drink while i fix my shoe and then he gave it back to me and scout goes uh she was like it's probably roofing now or something like that and i was like and he just was like no i would never do that and i was like he's like so like very serious fella and you know i just thought that it was so funny i i like whispered to her i was like bad taste bad taste <laughs> i know that wasn't bad taste uh, but uh but yeah so party was crazy scout got insanely high oh my god so rachel and griffin brought a joint and like i just was chilling on the joint all night i didn't really drink and i was so high like like so high but it was like the best high that the water was like we have, yeah. a, we have a salt water pool and it's heated it was heated to like 92 degrees swimming when you're high and like the sun was out too like oh damn but then at night zach zach hooked us up with the uh projector yeah, zach and and uh zach had had a few and he zach was doesn't like drink zach never like he doesn't really get like like hammered. drunk yeah and he was pretty hammered and he's like, oh, you know, I haven't gotten to do a review of this projector yet. Oh I'm going to do it. And like, it's like a 30 second video. And he's like, he's like, you got by the water. The, the video is incredible. And he's like, don't get it fucking wet. You'll get it fucked up. And it's he's like, 30 seconds. we got the, he's like, we got the spinny thing here. He's talking, talking about, about like, the zoom. zoom. It was 30 seconds. And at the end, <laughs> he turns around. Well, I'm Zach Kohler. If you like that video, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I like that video, that, that 30 second thing. <laughs> Oh my! God. Oh my God! It was so funny. But yeah, yeah, we put up Zach put up a screen 
and, and we used his projector tail, and we watched Shark Tale and Open Season and Jaws, which all was, pool, which all, was so fun. all in the pool, which was really fun. And we had a fire pit, and it was just such a gay time. It was just, it was just so fun, you know. Everybody was, so was everybody was living. The there. vibes were just so perfect that night. Yeah, I'm, I'm a lucky chick to have all my my fun friends. <laughs> one for me and one for my homies. And one for my homies. <laughs> Shout out the homies for making it a good time. Um, but definitely I, I had to work the next day. It was Memorial Day. I oh didn't God, have to work, too. but I like went in. I was still high. I was someone. Oh, okay, someone DM'd up. me. They, they asked cause I was wearing like a drug rug and they're like, is that drug rug from Ron John? And I was still high when I read the message. So I thought he was like, is that rug from Ron John? Cause we were sitting outside in the gravel and I'm like, no, LOL. They're rocks. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> they're rocks. Like we were sitting on like. Like with the fire pit, like the little the pea stone pebbles. Oh, like thinking, oh okay, thinking, yeah. Like, like, is that I'm like you're asking me where I got my rug? I'm like, no, they're rocks. And then I was like, I read it like later on. I was like, what? did you clarify? Hey, I was a little. Yeah, after I like unsent them, I I always do that. Like I unsend the message. I'm like, they didn't. Like if it's not here, they didn't see it. Even if like it doesn't say seen, I'll like or even if, what am I trying to say? If it doesn't say seen, then I'll unsend it. Even though, like, they've probably gotten the notification, I'll still unsend it. Yeah. Instead of the summer of send it, the summer of unsend it. I hate when, like, you unsend something and then, like, the person responds, like... After you... Like, they res- Yeah, like, they respond, like, to it, like... And then you're just, like... <laughs> that You gotta gaslight. That's the only option. <laughs> I didn't send anything. What are you talking about? No, I had to work and I was in the office on Monday and I literally was like about to throw up. There was one other person, one of my coworkers came in and everybody else took the day off. And I was like, (sighs) and I went in, I think that I went in for like three hours and I was like, hey, Eric, I'm going to go home because I'm going to die. Like I was so out of it. Part, yeah, I, I had to work poker. I feel like I'm already out of my party stage. Like, I went through, like, a party party stage, and I feel like I'm out of it. Like, I just don't want to... Yeah, I feel like, like, three weeks straight you were, and then you were kind of just like, all right, I'm done. I feel like it was, like, three months. Like, it was, like, all winter. I was just like, I'm going to go out all the time. <laughs> to the dive bar? Yeah, to the dive bar that I that I don't frequent anymore. Oh, my God. I figured out where I know that kid from work. Oh yeah. So there is this there's this new um line cook at my job and I'm like, bro, like you were in my math class or something and he's like insisting he didn't go to East Providence High School. I'm like, <laughs> Yes, you did. Like and he's like, I had a lot of friends in E P and then so like I looked on my Instagram and he popped up and I was like, Wait a minute and it was from when I went through my little like groupie local Ho band, Ho Phase. Um, he was friends with one of the bands. And uh, so that's how I know him. Wow. I'm not going to I'm not going to say that to him. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna let him know. He's like, hey, listen to the podcast. <laughs> it was so funny. I was so I put on this event called Battle of the Bands like two weekends ago. And one of the musicians in the band always like he always asked me out and flirts with me. And he was talking to me about something and he mentioned he was like, so is Scout going to like get on the Good Burger set? And I was like, <laughs> I stopped. And I'm like did you listen to the podcast? And he was like, no, he was like, I've been seeing it, but I, I wasn't, I haven't been listening to it. And it made oh. me so, I was like, huh. You're like, oh, why not? Yeah. And then like, it kind of was like, hmm, well then how do you know that? And I don't know. I think that he's kind of peeping on our podcast. Could be just, you know, as I work on movies, you know? No, I think that he's listening to our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that's i felt so stupid i was like of course like he probably like yeah he knows like you work on movies but <laughs> i was just like infant. you were listening to the podcast <laughs> oh my god i think so, um a fair amount of people have all my friends like it yeah so, all the homies shout out to my homies who are listening peyton I'm talking to you listening every week <laughs> Peyton listens every week. Yeah. Aww. We love you, Peyton. We love you, Peyton. <laughs> so, so good. So like previously mentioned, my birthday was this weekend. Mm-hmm. And I had someone who I used to be something with. Oh, my God. Reach out. Let's and, talk about exes reaching out on your birthday. Yeah. They reached out and said, happy birthday, darling. And at first I was so, I was like, oh, 
like and then you know started like imagining like maybe we could get back to get all this stuff <sighs> no the next day I was back to being pissed I was like okay no no but I think that he reached out for himself I think that he reached out to make himself feel better it was so hard for her <laughs> <laughs> but so I'm like you know don't reach out to your exes on their birthday I don't think that they roommate- want it was like confronting mom and said something like like you know what we're about or something like that like it was a weird thing like like mom like was saying like, you know what we're about what would it was there any other context oh god i just i don't really remember you know what we're about like, i think they were saying like like them and oh okay the yeah person yeah who texted you and like mom was like are they friends again? And they're like, you know what we're about. Like, oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know. I just like, I romanticize like, like during my birthday, I'm like, like, who's going to come out of the, of the woodwork? Like, who's going to, you know, say happy birthday who I haven't spoken to in so long. And I was so happy, but like, no, don't yeah. reach out to your ex on their birthday because, because it's, it's not, yeah, because like then it's just they're a- going to be thinking about you. Mm-hmm. And, like, they shouldn't be thinking about you on their party. And also, like, if you have no intention of, like, talking to them more, you know? Like, it was kind of just, like, a happy birthday, darling. And then expecting things to, like, be silent again. And yeah, then, like, like the why? Fuck? Like, no, yeah. Like, part of me is, like, were they thinking it was, like, a nice thing to do? Like, because sometimes, but no, I feel like it was just to be, like, I'm going to get back in your head. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I, I think that he thinks that it was, like, from a nice place, but because at the I've same done time. I've done that. <laughs> because I've been, like, have you ever talked to me? I'm, like, happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> I, like, never reach. If I haven't spoken to somebody in so long, then, like, I won't reach out on their birthday. Unless they're, like, Instagram friends. Mm. Unless it's, like, a respond to their story. Happy birthday, gorgeous. Can we just talk about Instagram friends for a second? There's this, It's so funny. There's one person. I've never met him, but he's so sweet, Nick Little. And he, like, he's written, like, <laughs> reviews on my, like, music and stuff. He writes for Pop Wrapped. And, like, he posted on his story, like, like in dedication to Nick Nicholas Little. Like, and he said, like, the date, like, his birthday to, like, certain date. And, like, it was a long tribute. And I was like, oh! Did he so- die? And then, like, the next slide, he was, like, very well written, but y'all need to get jobs or something. I was like, you assholes. Like, my heart just stopped. Oh, my God. But it's so funny because I've never met this person, but it's, like... It affects you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, especially... That's, like, how I am with, like, couples on Instagram. Like When they it, break up. Yeah. Like, when somebody starts posting, like, like sad songs, like, on their story and stuff, I'll go through and then I'll see that all their photos together are deleted. Ooh, and like, then I'm shit. like, fuck. It's... And then it's sad because I'm like, wow, another one bites the dust. Like more, <laughs> it didn't scary, last for them either. Scary. Nobody's staying together these days. No, but Instagram friends are very funny, especially like with the birthday thing. Like yeah. on my birthday, so many people like, and it's always, it always ends with, and we have to get together soon. Yeah, you're like, like yes. Like finally, yeah. And then like, it, I totally, I sometimes buy into it. I'm like, this is going to be the time. We're going to get our shit together enough to hang out. And we never... <laughs> And then the next year happens. We seriously have we to have get to together. Yeah. Like, I know. Instagram friends are are funny that way. But you I have do. Save your friends. You have your Instagram friends. Yeah. And never they're, the two shall meet. And they're different. <laughs> they are very different. But I mean, I do enjoy getting like my stories hearted. Well, me too. Yeah. It's a big. Do you take like if somebody hearts your story? I'm like, oh, it's on. Like if it's a guy, I'm like. Zach was hearting my story for quite some time. Yeah. And then finally it was like. Well, that's like the thing. I feel good. like I feel like they do that when they're too. Because Zach was too scared to like ask you out, right? Yeah. Weren't, weren't you too pussy? <laughs> yeah. You were, yeah. <laughs> weren't you too pussy to uh, ask you out? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Weren't you a little bitch about it? No, I feel like people like that. I saw a TikTok about that. It was just like guys like. Like if if girls if we heart your story like it's because we're like too nervous to actually make a move. Guys thinking that they're being so like strong and forward, they're like, watch, watch this. Like heart, like, <laughs> it's on. <laughs> no, but when somebody hurts my story, I'm like, oh shit, and like, then like, but it in progresses. Love with me. I feel like it progresses. Like at first, it's like liking the story for like a week or or so, and then they finally like, they reply. Yeah, <laughs> then they finally reply, <laughs> and then like one of those replies ends up being so. Like, are you new here? Or like, so, 
where are you based out of? And then I'm like, shit, it's on. Yeah. Modern dating is a funny thing. It's so funny. It's really, it's not, it's sad. It's so, it's so, it's so dark humor funny. Like, yeah. There, love is a battlefield. Amen. I don't know how you guys. To quote the great Pat Benatar slash Jenna Rank from 13 going to 30. Zach, do you want to do your impression? Yes. What are we doing? <gasps> Yoshi. Have you, did you do Yoshi last time? No. Okay. Are you sure? If you saw the, the Mario movie. No, what did I think I did that. No, I did you did uh joe swanson i don't know what i did last time are you sure that you didn't do yoshi last time i, try, I think i tried to i tried to make it i listened back to it oh. it was real fucked up oh, okay <laughs> <Darcy. laughs> <laughs> do it again dude we have a video of like a very drunk uh zach and yeah, at the party like, and he's like talking so fast when zach's drunk he talks so fast his mind's like moving a mile a minute and he uh and he Scout was just like do the ocean's voice and he's like blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> we love our our impressionists me too what would you do how would you like do an impression of us what would you do if you had to do <laughs> 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 You're like, whoops, I spilled my drink. <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> oh, look at Tess. So for those who can't see Tess, um, Zach and I picked this out for her for her birthday. It is an original Lily Pulitzer skirt, but it's so cute because there's like a ruffle and everything. Tess was running around the house like, Marmy. Yeah, I love sister. it. I feel like I'm a March sister. I, I sent Scout a picture of it like months ago and I was like, this for my birthday. And she she's such a little shit. She goes to me. Uh, I bring it up to her and she's like, yeah, they were actually sold out of it. Like they because they, well, not sold out. She was like, it's sold because it's from a consignment shop. And I was like, really? Because I went in yesterday and it was still there. And she was like. like Shit. <laughs> yeah, no, we got it. Shout out to Jackie on Broadway. We yeah. love her dearly. Yeah. Favorite consignment shop. If you're an RI, go. But yeah, this is an original Lily Pulitzer and Tess does look like a little March sister in it. Running I love around. it. I'm like running around. I'm like, Lori! You're Lori! Like, Marmy! Lori! Joe! Joe! Meg! He's the one who dies. Beth! Beth. <laughs> Shut up, Meg. Shut up, Meg. <laughs> Who's your favorite? March sister. Um Mine's Joe. I mean, probably Joe. I feel like she's the uh, a lot of they can be annoying. I'm not gonna I I like Beth. I feel like Beth is like mm. too good. Yeah, well that's why she dies, because like so the good one always has to die. Um spoiler I, alert. I don't like um, Amy, okay. Amy. In in selfish. Greta in Greta Gerwig's She's version, a cunt. in Greta Gerwig's version, they made Amy like somewhat likable, but I still like she burned fucking Joe's book. Burned her books, burned the books, and uh, and she stole her man. And I know Joe ends up with like the man who like she's supposed to be, but like no, like her and Lori had a thing, and Amy should have respected that. I loved the new version. Oh, like, Greta Gerwig. I can't the, wait for the Barbie movie. Greta Gerwig's a fucking genius. The casting was so amazing, it was so too. so on point, yeah. Speaking of casting and movies and genius, you saw The Little Mermaid yesterday. <gasps> I did. It means acted. And we took his little, is Ava five? Uh, six. Six-year-old niece. And it was fun. It was, it was good. I liked it a lot. I think that, uh, what is it, Haley... Oh yeah, Haley Berry, I think. It's very because it's very similar to Halle. Wait, Berry. let me look that. I think it is Wait. No, it's Haley. It's Haley like Berry or something like that. What? It's like too similar to Halle Berry. It's Halle Bailey. Halle Bailey. Yeah. <laughs> Halle Bailey. Um. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Halle Bailey was perfect as the Little Mermaid. I loved her. I thought Prince Eric was. Not that attractive. What um, does the Prince Eric look like in this one? He's a good looking fella. Um, I didn't like King Triton. Oh, oh my god. I know. He's in. Oh, he's, okay. Now we're going to check if he's married. Because <laughs> that's always the way. Fuck. All right. But okay, so you liked it? Yeah. Oh, fuck. I liked it. I think that some of the effects could have been better, honestly, considering how long it was in production and like. Like, 
Like, you look at something like Avatar and then, like, The Little Mermaid. I, I, I don't know, Zach, what did you think? I I'll be honest. I love Aquafina. I didn't like her as Scuttle. I liked. I liked. I liked the. Uh, I like the movie as whole. You know, it's the Little Mermaid. But like, I think, like you said before, like I think the effects could have been a little up, like up to par. You know, like mm-hmm. they gotta work on that. But then also, like I, I didn't like the crab's voice because like it just sounded like a knockoff of the original. And I got well. That's the thing. That's a tough thing about like doing this kind of like. This kind of work. This kind of like yeah, like it's it's tough to like not see it as that. Sorry, Stop looking up. sorry to interrupt. Prince Eric is dating someone, and she kind of looks like Phoebe Bridgers. Let's break them up. Yeah, seriously. Oh, he has. Such, this like, is a Scout nice... and Tess from See You Next Thursday, and we want them. And we're coming we're for coming you. To you. <laughs> wow, he has Bridgers? such like a nice dimpled face. No, it's not Phoebe Bridgers. It looks like it does look like her. Damn, the Little Mermaid so just made me want a vacation. I want to go back to Hawaii and I want to swim with the fish. I want to see it. How how much are tickets usually? Maybe I'll see well, it. we went on Bargain Tuesday. But normally they twelve bucks. Mm-hmm. Got sixty-eight percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, I. Mm, uh, the original Little Mermaid made a cameo in it, which was cute. Well, thanks, Scout. Oh. <laughs> Never. Spoiler. When Scout sees a movie before you, she'll be like, do you want to know? Like, she'll be like, do you want to know how it ends? That was a little fucked up. I don't know. It's a secret. Oh, yeah. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Maybe I'll see it tonight, honestly. Cause yeah, go by yourself. Loser. Honestly, maybe I will. Well... <laughs> Well, on that note. I'll go with Kyle. <laughs> uh, well, find out next time if I end up seeing it by myself. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, so I think are we? I think that we're good on time. I'm good, yeah. We've done a, We've said our piece. We've said our for this stuff. week. Uh, I'm gonna go with a vodka and scotch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go swim in our pool, probably yeah. naked, because I'm just feeling that. Well, not until Zach leaves. <laughs> God damn it, Zach. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go to the gym and then swim in the pool. Maybe nice. naked. Oh. <laughs> I'll see you there. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess that this is a wrap. It's a wrap. And I'll see you next Thursday. Not like permanently. Yeah, this is a wrap for today. Like, this is the end. For yeah, <laughs> thank you so much for watching over before it started this is now it's confusing let's really clarify know, yeah. we're not we're not we're gonna be back we're not next week done. yeah we'll be back next week we'll be back next week unless we okay. get hit by a bus or something like regina george oh my god <laughs> <laughs> you never know you never know um, all right okay. well, well this yeah. has been see you next thursday and we will we will see, see you next, next thursday, thursday. <laughs>